Hi. The battery seems to be low. Let's check. Let's open the hood and check the battery voltage. Using the multimeter, let's check the voltage of the battery. Positive to the positive probe, negative to the negative probe. It is showing just 9 voltage. So that's why it is not turning on. We need to charge the battery now. So connecting negative to the negative probe, positive line to the positive probe. When I connect, it can come here. We can uh, can see the LED glowing. Okay, but. Uh, Yeah, it is a it's a 12 volt charger with 2 amp output. Uh, yeah, actually, voltage adjustable is there now. I maximized to 12 volt, so you can see the configuration of it. So I'm having the AC voltage here is connecting. I made sure that everything is turned off inside. It's turning on this. Uh, as I turn on here uh, yeah, and this thing is also running let's check the voltage now Is it running? Mm. 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 Okay, so I've connected. Let's check the charging voltage. So it's 12.7 now. I'll show you the evidence that uh, this particular con connector is really giving out some voltage. I just turned off the switch. Now it is going down, you see. 12, you know. Once I turn on, it is increasing. The battery is not fully dead. Uh, actually the charge has come down because some lights were on uh, so let this get charged we should have at least 13 volt from the battery to start the engine uh, this is not the first time we are actually heading into this problem last time uh, my son accident he turned on the headlight left for two or three hours so it was completely down from zero volt we attained to 13 volts within 20 minutes using this two amp charger but now I think it should take less than that. Anyways, let it charge for some time. Uh, as it is charging, I will try uh, turning on the engine. Um, please hold it with care. not charged enough now I could hear some beep sound 
maybe from some controller in it yeah now it is just cut off uh, what earlier the voltage was 9 or something that was not enough so the relay itself uh, did not allow the uh, you know starter motor to spin but now the voltage has come to 12 volts so the relay is giving power the starter motor is slowly rotating which is not enough to run the engine or on the engine let's wait for some more time like i said it should go to 13 volts and above in order to get the engine run like if you call somebody for a jump start they may come with a inappropriate battery if sometimes if it is bigger that might spoil our electronics in the vehicle or uh, the battery itself so it's always better to go with some diy projects like this uh, for jump start they cost around 400 rupees in cities so let's wait for it to charge Ignition bar on and on. Hmm. Hold it. Hmm. Hmm. Twelve point three. Hold it. Na. Ah, no coating. Hmm? It is hot. Let's check the voltage now. Now it's 4.1. So that's the charging voltage that we get from the dynamo. Otherwise the battery should have 13 volts or 12.9. Hope this was useful. Thank you for watching. Try this.